just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Shout out to Graven. For me, I'm somebody who believes that uh, small things that you do, they can go a long way and they can have a really big impact without you even knowing it. Uh, like for instance, for me personally, I love it and, and really, really appreciate it when people say something as simple as please and thank you. And I, I know that sounds like super basic and super like, well, yeah, that's like normal. But for me, it's not because you see so many people who don't. Like something simple, you may be going into the store or something and somebody's coming up behind you and you, oh, you hold the door open for them and they just walk right through. Don't say nothing. And not that they're obligated to say thank you to you, but it's nice when people do small gestures like that uh, because it just, it, it just makes for a much more positive day. Um, and with Lamar Jackson, um, when we had the opportunity to meet him, of course, at the Lamar Jackson Fun Day, and in which we'll talk about all that. Um, it was just a, a small gesture by him, but it, it meant the world, especially to Carter. And that's where it really got me. Um, cause I, I, of course, appreciated meeting him, uh, love meeting him. It was super quick. It was, it was super fast. Um, and shout out to my guy, Lenny, man. Shout, shout, out to, shout out to Lenny because Lenny, he made everything happen. So I appreciate you. Um, shout out to Mike, too. Mike, um, he, he one of Lamar's boys, and, and he gave uh, Carter... Uh, a free pair of socks uh, from the Air Aid Apparel. So I, I just, uh, I appreciated that a lot, man. Because that was another, a small gesture, but it went a long way with me, especially because it was for my son. Because like, again, it's one thing, somebody does something for me, I'm going to appreciate it a lot. But if, if something is done for my son, oh man, it's, it just, it goes even further for me, man, for real. I, I always appreciate when people look out for Carter, because that, that means everything to me. Carter had been asking all day at the Lamar Jackson Fun Day, when are we going to meet Lamar? Are we going to get to meet Lamar? Oh, I want to meet Lamar Jackson. And he was actually getting a little upset because there, there were points throughout the day where Lamar would be walking around and I, there would obviously be the crowd of kids following him. And Carter wanted to jump in there and, and go join him and stuff, but uh, we just... It wasn't the right time. Uh, and, and he got a little frustrated from that. Because it's funny because last year, when we went to uh, the Lamar Jackson Fun Day, Carter, he, he didn't really know who Lamar Jackson was like that. And even when he, he met him briefly last year, um, and it was just, it was, it was a super, super quick thing last year, even quicker than this year. But last year, it was a lot less personal. Because last year was when um, we were standing in the line with all the kids and stuff, and, um, and then he just got to say what's up to him real quick. I got to say what's up to him real quick, too, last year, but this year was different because it was just us and Lamar, Lenny, my wife was there, too, and her sister was there as well. Um, but anyway, um, last year when Carter met Lamar, he was like kind of whatever, but 
throughout from last year to this year uh, leading up to the event. Um, Carter, he knows who Lamar Jackson is now. Like if I'm doing a video, uh, if he sees Lamar Jackson, whether it's on TV or he sees him in like a thumbnail or something that I'm doing, he, oh, that's Lamar Jackson. Now he knows who he is. He knows that he plays for the Ravens. He knows that he's affiliated with the Ravens, who daddy talks about <laughs> all the time. So he knows who Lamar Jackson is now. So I think that's what really um, made him appreciate and anticipate this so much more this year. Uh, so throughout the event, um, like I said, he was asking, when are we going to get to meet Lamar? When are we going to get to meet Lamar? Are we going to get to meet Lamar? And what was funny was that when... Um, when where we were sitting at when Lamar was coming over by us Carter didn't even want to believe that that was him he was like oh no that that's got to be a fake that's that's not him but and I think it was because he was just so excited to meet Lamar Jackson that he just he ain't even want to he almost didn't even want to get his hopes up he's like nah nah yeah nah that's that's a fake that's that's not really him so then when we were like hey we, we getting ready to go meet him and he was like, oh, he was getting kind of like bashful and kind of nervous and whatnot. Um, and then when we met him, he uh, he said, what's up to him? Lamar, super nice. All that stuff that you hear about him uh, from people, from fans saying that he's humble, that he's nice, that he he's kind, that he's patient, that he's down to earth, that he's cool, that he's dead. It's all true. It's all true. All of it. All of it. Every single last positive word is true. That's how he was. Um, he uh, he was super nice to Carter. Super, super nice to Carter. Thank Carter for coming out. Uh, gave him a little handshake and what's up. And then when, when Lenny introduced him to me, he, he was super, super cool. Told us he appreciated us coming out to the event. And I told him, hey, I appreciated him even having it, man. Um, and it was just, it, it, it was nice to... Meet him again. It was it was super super quick. Um, he was super super patient again. Like y'all saw, he, he took the, the the pictures with us and whatnot. But it was a very nice experience. And then right after that, like y'all saw in the picture, Carter was like he he was trying to hold back his smile, man. Because Carter in, in, in pictures, so, something about him that my, my mom pointed out to me, and I mean a lot of y'all have pointed out, and, and especially in the recent pictures, like with, with Carter and Lamar and Carter and Jerry Judy and stuff. Carter would be mean mugging, man. Carter would be mean mugging that camera, man. But, like, right after that, even right before, he'll be cheesing his behind off. Like, even right after we met Lamar, Carter just smiling. He start, he saw hugging his mom, like, super tight. He was so happy. So, when, if parents will definitely be able to relate. And even, like, siblings and whatnot, seeing your other siblings super happy. But definitely, parents can relate on another level. When, like, stuff that makes you happy... It's cool and, and it makes you happy. But when you see your kids, stuff that makes them happy and like stuff that makes them like genuinely happy, because it's like different kinds of happiness with your kids. Like you can see your kids be happy over some. Oh, that's cool. But when you see them like really happy, like genuinely happy and excited and really just thankful and grateful for whatever is happening in that moment, that's when it hits different. That's when it really hits different. So that's what this was for me with um with Carter being able to meet uh Lamar Jackson. So shout out to Lamar Jackson. Um but yeah, the his fun day, it was fun. It was it was hot. It was, it was really hot outside, but again, y'all know I, I appreciate the heat, especially cuz I don't want to be dealing with no nasty snow. Ooh, don't nobody want no snow. Anyway, um and it was for the kids. It is for the kids. Um I remember my wife's sister cuz she had came with us too. She was like, why, why does he do this every year? Like, does he do it for this, this? I said, no, it's for the kids. That's it. It's for the kids. So that was, um, that, it, it was really cool, man. They had, of course, the bounce houses out there, and Carter was on all of those. Uh, shout out to my guy, Beezy, uh, that came through. Um, nice seeing him. Um, I know, of course, yeah, we mentioned Jerry Judy. He was there as well. As far as any other football players, I, I think, yeah, that was it. Um, but, yeah, it was a real, real nice event. They had water out there. They had the food. They had, uh, I think they brought food from his restaurant, which I saw they just recently repainted it. 
Um, so they really doing some little renovations in this. So we gotta uh we gotta slide through over there sometime soon again. Um, but yeah, the the first day was just mostly about the kids, just Lamar saying what's up, and he of course, as you all saw in the videos, he was throwing the football with people. Um, he even did he even raced a couple people. He was throwing the football to like the different kids. They were doing the one on ones, which I really I think that probably besides Carter being able to meet him. I think that was probably my favorite part. When they were doing the one-on-ones, the wide receiver and cornerbacks, ooh, I, I loved it, man. I, I loved it. And because and, and with, with the fun day, this is why I say, like, you could throw a football to a kid. That's nothing. That's so simple. It's such a small, tiny gesture. You, that's it. That's all you got to do. Throw a football to a kid. But on the opposite end, especially if you're Lamar Jackson, you throwing a football to a kid, that means so much to that kid. Because that kid sees you every Sunday, sometimes on Mondays, sometimes on Thursdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. That kid sees you on TV throwing that football to other professional football players in the NFL. So to a lot of these kids, somebody like a Lamar Jackson would be almost larger than life. Like, man, like I, I can't believe he's right here in person. I can't believe it. He's right here in front of me. And he plays for my favorite football team, if their favorite football team is the Ravens. And if not, he's from where I'm from, from Pompano, from South Florida and whatnot. Or they just like, wow, he is so somebody that's just so relatable to me. He looks how I look. He talks how I talk, man. And he's in the NFL, and now he's right here. And this is one of the guys who is a superstar in the NFL. Superstar quarterback in the NFL. And he's right here. Throwing the football, quarterbacking for these kids while they doing one on ones, so that's something that's gonna stick with them, literally forever, forever. It's it's they're gonna remember that because that's so that's really special to them. And it's I even got to throw one pass to him and he caught because it was on one of the one on ones. One of the kids, uh, he beat the cornerback. But then he dropped the ball, so the ball kind of bounced over to where I was at. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me pick it up. So I threw it to Lamar. Lamar caught it. It was, it was a little to the right, but Lamar still caught it. So I appreciated that. Shout out to Lamar uh, for being my wide receiver for about three seconds. But, um, yeah, man, it, it was just super fun. It, it, it was super, super fun. Um, and it's just memories like that people appreciate. But, it's again, like I said, a small gesture that goes a super long way. Super, super long way. Um, and those people, not only the kids, but the parents, they're going to remember that too. They're going to remember that um, forever. So shout out to him. Um, with Jerry Judy, uh, when we first got there, that's when we saw Jerry Judy, like right as, as soon as we got there. And with Jerry Judy, and uh, he's somebody that I wanted the Ravens to draft back then. But with him, when we first got there, we walked there. We weren't even there for two minutes yet and saw him. And there were a couple people in front of us. Just they're like, hey, they they were trying to take pictures of Jerry Judy, and he could have been rude. He could have been nasty. He could have been like, no, nah, straight. He could have been like, no, nah, I don't want to. He could have been like, no, nah, this ain't. No, I don't feel like it. No, maybe later. No. But he said, yep. Oh no, he. Oh yeah, sure. Posted up, took a picture. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Posted up, took a picture. Even one mom, she was asking Jerry Judy. Um, she was asking him about her son, and she was like, oh, do you have to be like a, a certain size to, to play wide receiver? Because my son, he's a little shorter, but, and Jerry Judy like, no, he, he can do it. He can do it. And, and he took his time. Didn't have to now. D didn't have to at all. Was not obligated to do it at all. But he took his time to have a conversation with her about her son playing wide receiver. So you see, things like that. They, they go such a, a long way, man. And then, again, when, when me and Carter went to go take a picture, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Cool, all right, let's do it. Without hesitation, nothing. 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 No, no, no grunting, no complaining. No, and, he, and he had every right to do that. Because, again, who, who want to be taking all these pictures back to back to back to back? He didn't have to, but he did it. So, again... I appreciated it a lot. Um, I, uh, I one of the pictures that I posted, I think the one with Lamar. Somebody commented under there, um, Debo Samuel would never. 
And of course, they were uh, referring to that video of Debo Samuel where he was at a camp that he had like a week or two weeks ago. And the kid came up to him trying to get him to sign a football and Debo like, you ain't sign it. So a lot of people took that clip and they ran with him like, oh man, Debo, what a filthy human being. He's so bad, man. He's so this, he's so that. You got to understand, man. This is why you can't just, the internet is so crazy, man. Because the internet will show you, depending on who it's coming from, they will only paint one side of the picture. You won't understand the whole story. That's why context matters. So many people were flipping out about that. It went viral. It went crazy. All these people were tripping out. Oh, Debo didn't sign this kid's football. What a bad person. He's so mean. Why he couldn't just take two seconds and sign a football for a kid? All the meanwhile, um, it was said that every kid that came to that camp, they went home, they went home with either a signed football or a signed T-shirt or signed something if, as long as they signed up. Or, and they had to have signed up if they were there. So they, they had stuff coming to them already. But that quick video, it didn't paint that picture. That quick video painted a picture like, oh, man, Debo Samuel. Oh, so, oh, man, what a bum. I can't believe that. I can't believe he did that. And these guys, when they have these events, you just, you got to look at it from the business point of view. You got to think of it from, and I know it's, it can be hard as fans. And it can be hard as people. Because, again, Video, when we see quick videos like that, it's like, oh, what? Especially with a kid, too. It's like, oh, man, the kid, poor kid. But we got to get the whole story. The whole story. With a lot of these events, um, these players, they have different things that they're obligated to do. And with Debo, for example, say, for instance, he did sign that kid's football, which obviously would have been, wouldn't have been anything wrong with that. But... You got a million other kids watching you at that same moment. And if you do that for that one kid, then you got to do it for everybody else. Cause, and that's how kids are. That's how people are. Not even just kids. That's how a lot of adults are too. Oh, he got that? Oh, you know what? No, I need one too. That's exactly how the kids would be. Oh, Debo signed his football. Oh, let me go take my football to go get signed too. And then everybody would come rushing. And that can break up the flow of the event. That can break up the order of events as they're supposed to be taking place. They may have a certain schedule in place for all that. Because it's a time and a place for everything. And I believe that um, there was something that, si that said that Debo wouldn't be signing anything at the event. So it's like, that's why you need the whole story. You need everything. Not just little bits and pieces, because when you just get little bits and pieces, it's, it's not enough. It's like trying to bake a cake and you got eggs, you got milk, you got <coughs> whatever, <else. coughs> and you only got like a little bit of the batter. I don't remember everything it takes to bake a cake. But if you only got bits and pieces of what, whatever that recipe entails to make that cake, you ain't going to be able to make a whole cake. You may be able to make a bake a slice, but you ain't gonna be able, to be able to make a whole cake. That's why you need everything. You need all the ingredients. And it's the same thing with a lot of the stuff that we see. So again, um, this is why I, I really appreciated the event. Um, I really appreciate the event period, because again, it's an annual thing. Um, I, I went to the, uh, the seven on sevens the next day. Uh, I had to leave a little early because I was just like, oh, that, that sun was whooping me. It, it, it was beating me down. And then I was hungry on top of that. Uh, so I hit it. But um, I was out there for a couple of hours watching him. And I was like, man, these, these kids, there was one kid out there. Um, he was on, oh, what team was it? Oh, man. I think they were called the Ball Hawks, I think. But there's this one kid, man. He had on a beanie. They, they had on white and blue jerseys. This kid had on a beanie. This dude was like, he was a shorter wide receiver. But he was he was quick and he was quick and fast, and he had hands. This boy was catching everything, but he he was shorter, but he was still he was catching everything. Then I'm sitting there, I'm watching some of these young quarterbacks. I'm like, these these some young kids, and they they over here going through their uh going through their progressions and stuff. I'm like, okay, now I loved it. I I I loved it. It was just such a, a nice vibe. It was such a just a fun atmosphere. Um. I, I enjoyed it so much, man. So Saturday was fun. Sunday was fun. It was, it was just a really, really good time. 
So again, shout out to Lamar uh, for for holding it down. Oh, got got to say what's up to to, to Miss Felicia too. Ah, uh, it, it was super quick. I just say I, I hi to her real quick. She said, "Hey, how you doing?" But she was she she was nice, man. Um, so uh, and I think that was the first time that I actually saw her. I believe that was the first time that I saw her. Um, but it was nice to be able to put a, a face with the name because you hear so much stuff uh, about Lamar Jackson's mom and uh, that obviously being his agent and he got his camp and whatnot. Uh, but it was nice to again put the face to the name and, and to everything that comes with it too because you know she 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 be handling business. And she obviously be, had been handling business the right way because Lamar Jackson is where he is now. And a huge, huge, huge part of that uh, is because of his mom. And I can certainly relate. I mean, we ain't nowhere special, but shout out to my mom because she like she helps a lot, a whole lot. Um, and she has helped a lot and, and really uh, gave us a really good foundation growing up. Um, and taught us a lot of values uh, growing up, just when it comes to just just being a good person. Uh, so appreciate you, mommy. Um, but yeah, man, it was a, a fun experience. Uh, it was a it was a cool day. Well, it not cool in terms of temperature, but uh, cause yeah, like I said, it was, it was burning up out there. But yeah, man, uh, and I felt like this had been a, a long time coming. Cause if y'all remember, like way back. It was when Lamar first got drafted, and one of my boys was either, I think he was either staying, he was either staying or working at a hotel where Lamar and some of the other players were at, and he ran into Lamar, and he had, uh, he, he asked Lamar if, if if Lamar minded if he FaceTimed me. What's going on, Justin? And Lamar was like, oh yeah, no problem. We're patient back then, we're still patient uh, now. Obviously got a lot more notoriety now, because that was back in 2018, but still the same person. Um, and but he was willing to be so patient, and so my boy called me. But again, that was one of the very few times that I put my phone on silent. Cause again, that that was something that I would I just never really did back then. And I did it, and boom, missed the FaceTime from Lamar. But it it was all good, man. So anyway, uh, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Um, y'all, y'all are great. I, I appreciate, uh, just everybody who was shouting out Carter on the pictures and caught a little mean mug and whatnot, man. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to Lamar. This, um, y'all already know, like, we already know we've been riding with Lamar, but a after this event and just how special that moment was to Carter, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, oh yeah, ain't nothing changing. So, appreciate y'all, love y'all, 